I would like to go along the engineering aspects of this channel and look at a couple of materials. I like to uh, buy materials and compare them, see how well they work in model rocketry. I've been using this Kevlar cord. It's 100 pound cord. It's about 0.8 of a millimeter, very, very thin. And here's another Kevlar cord. This cord is also 100 pound. But what's interesting is that this other cord that I just bought recently, you can see it's actually quite a bit thicker. Um, and this will be interesting because I want to be able to try uh, putting this heavier cord in the rocket. Now, the reason is that the thin cord does tend to tangle and knot up a little bit. So um, I want to try a little bit of a thicker cord. And also the edge of the rocket tube is actually somewhat sharp. So sometimes on ejection, the cord will tend to fray a little bit. I did lose one rocket because the cord snapped because it frayed too much on the edge of the rocket. So, so anyways, let's uh, go ahead and try this out. I'm going to build some new rockets um, on my uh, Christmas vacation. And I'm going to try uh, using this newer cord and see what happens. So again, you see it's just a little bit thicker. And uh, hopefully that will tend to reduce the knotting and the fraying. But again, they're both 100-pound cords. So again, uh, buy the cords and uh, buy the materials and see what happens. Build a rocket, fly it, and evaluate. That's part of model rocket engineering. The next material that I'm experimenting with is some more streamer material. And I've been using bird scare tape. It's a very nice material. It winds really tight. It's strong. It's very cheap. I've been flying historically this type of material. It's got what they call a holographic type of uh, finish to it. And I'm going to try a different material. That's this stuff here. This material is not the holographic material, but it does have these shiny sparkly things on it. And I just want to try it out and see how it looks when it gets up high. Um, one thing that's been happening with these streamers on both of these um, materials, because they're silverish, is that when you've got a cloudy day, and you're flying with a silver streamer, many times the rocket still gets lost because it's really hard to see the streamer being silver against a gray background. So there's not a lot of sparkle to it. So I want to try some different materials. I'm going to try this. I'm also going to try some other materials with some darker colors because darker colors may show up a lot better against uh, cloudy skies. So again, um, I've got some new materials. I'm going to start playing with them. And I might have time to get these into the Hughes launch, but if not, they'll have to wait till the next launch season.